Hey, what's up, YouTube? HBIC here, Mexicans 4666. How's it going for y'all today? I'm going to be talking about a couple of things in this video. As you guys know, we have two YCSs this week. We have YCS Italy and YCS Toronto. Unfortunately, I will not be at either of these events because, you know, Italy is so far away, even though I would love to go to the place. It's so beautiful there from the pictures I've been seeing from Paul Cooper and Dual Rock 88 who will be at the event and probably some other Yugi tubers who I'm not thinking of. I think Olympium's going to be there. I don't know. But the ones I do know is going to be there is Dual Rock 88 and then from North America, Paul Cooper will be at the event and probably some other players I can't think of that live in New York. But for YCS Toronto, we will have YouTubers as uh, On The World 6667, Star Strike Duelist X, Samantha, will be at those events. And I will not be there. Now, the main reason why I made this video is to talk about What's going to top? Now, I did take your guys' suggestion and stuff. You've probably seen some pictures fly up left and right. Some of you like pictures and stuff like that. So I am going to deliver what you guys need in these current future videos and putting up pictures and stuff. If I do videos like this, it's going to make it take a little longer with editing. I used to do it before, but then I got lazy and didn't feel like doing it. But I will do it now. Now, what decks are going to showcase themselves now? Quite frankly, I've been showing you guys ARG stuff, like, you know, when the debut of Cosmos, when four of those top, and then ARG had their 25K, and then prior to that, they had their little other little shenanigan events and stuff. But now we are back on the official Konami Forbidden and Limited Ban list. Now, nothing has really changed on this list. If I do recall, Lava Chain and Gen Releaser were the only cards that got banned. And then, like, cards like Shurit, I do believe, went down to one. And Trishula came back. And Trishula ain't gonna make no comeback. Just like Goyle didn't really make no comeback, even though Trishula is still powerful if you bring it out. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what decks are going? we're going to see at this event? Well, let me tell you. You're going to see, in no specific order, you're going to see Nekloss. This deck is very powerful. With cards like Unicor, shutting down the extra deck, Monsters, you win, like, cards like Nekloth or Trishula. You want to see cards like that and stuff. In the plus, the blue deck, I hate to say it, it's probably the best deck still currently or right now, even without the gen lock in it, even though I still don't think Law will change should have got the ban, but that's just me. Other decks you will see are Burning Abyss, the power of the Burning Abyss with Dante and Virgil, all the bouncing back cards, and they never die. That's why I hate that deck with a passion. Other decks we will include the Mighty Power of the Shadals and the Teller Knights. Those two decks will also probably most likely see a lot of play at the event. They're still good, which when you can add little tricks for the Shadals, we're adding clown blades or whatever they're called, quick trick clowns and stuff. You also have the, the helmet deck. Quill Force will probably make a debut at this event. But other than that, you have the new fairy tale art set, Cosmos. Now the question is, how powerful will Cosmos be? Now, as we learn in ARG format, cards like playing Gores and Jurigatos is good in that format. But will it be good in the Konami format? We will have to find out. Like I said before, you have YouTubers that should be recording at the event. You have Star Strike Duelist X. You have Dual Rock 88. And like always, I will post up deck lists and regionals and stuff. It's also this weekend. I will post deck profiles up. As soon as I get them from people, whoever wants to donate their deck profiles to me, let me know. And like the other YouTubers that I mentioned, when they upload it, I will make DN copies of it and then give credit like I always do to them. So you guys can know, since apparently I am like the deck profile person and stuff. So stay tuned for that. And also, I'm going to end this video with a little thing, make this a quick little video. Today is Mco 40s birthday. If you have him on Facebook or go to his channel on one of his videos, go tell him Vexy said to tell you to wish him happy birthday, because today is his birthday today. Go do that. And yeah, tell so me what you guys think. I'm trying to make these videos a little better. I really have no insight for this event other than telling you guys what decks are going to top. I really haven't played, but most likely I'll start playing. I'm really going to start playing December, but I might start playing October. I might pick up Shadals again. I don't know. I really just want to wait for Magician Pendulums. So my next video should be me practicing Magician Pendulums for the first time. Well, first time on camera. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Catch me if you can. Catch me if you can.